Oh, beautiful. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Lionel Messi strikes in 22 and Stanislav Chakarov has the lead. Hello my friends, Wikibigic here with another FIFA 16 tutorial for you. Today it's time for the best tactics for the 3-4-1-2 formation after the patch. But before we start, make sure to hit that like button. And also if you want to receive notifications every time when I upload a new FIFA video, then subscribe for my channel. Now it's time for the tutorial, enjoy! We are using the 3-4-1-2 formation, but as you can see on the screen, we will find that formation as 3-5-2 in the game. We have only 3 defenders, so it's completely normal to put stay back while attacking and normal interceptions to them. The problem is that we don't have any defensive midfielders, so we have to apply stay back while attacking and aggressive interceptions to both of our central mids. About our wings, guys, here we don't need to change anything, so just leave the default settings. It's it's time for our cam and we will use get into the box for cross and like that he will try to sprint inside the penalty box of our opponent. And we will use get in behind for our strikers and with those settings they will try to make as much as possible runs behind our opponent's defenders every time when we are attacking. Now it's time for the custom tactic and on speed we will use 50, with that formation we have many attackers and we don't need higher numbers here. 50 on passing for a mixed style of passes and the positioning is organized for a good and stable defense. 75-20-75 on chance creation, most of you know that I'm always using those numbers here, but if you're new and don't know why, then check the first link in the description. And about our defense, we will put 20 on pressure because we have only 3 defenders and they must stand close to our goalkeeper. 80 on aggression, like that your players will be much better at tackles and more aggressive. The team weight is 40 because when you're using that formation your players will be positioned a bit more wide on the pitch, that's why we will reduce it a bit. And the defender line is covered because if you put offside trap here, your defenders will leave big gaps and also they will make senseless runs. That was my tutorial about the best possible tactics for the 3-4-1-2 formation after the patch my friends. I hope that you will like it and you will improve a lot your game style after watching that video. If you have any questions or requests, just write your comments down below. And for more FIFA 16 content on my channel, destroy the like button and subscribe for my channel. Because you know that Team Wiki is waiting for you. My name is Tas, until next time fellas, bye bye.